everybody in this bitch starts panicking, and then the cockroach army starts walking to the ship chanting, KFC, KFC, KFC. Due to the green fade is like, why? Why you gotta be those big black? Psych! Last time, Jake Paul, Earth ruler, banished every black man to Mars. Those same black men then mutated into, oh, you know what they are. Jake Paul felt bad. He then sent a crew of soldiers to Mars in order to right his wrongs. But it turns out, Jake Paul never actually felt bad. He wanted to turn every black man into a giga nigga. He had a plan, but it's now been compromised by KSI, OLEGDABT, the final black man on Earth. Will he be able to? <laughs> Let me stop. Terraformers is low key growing on me, bro. At first, I was like, what the f is this? But now I'm like, they kind of cooking. Going back in time, we got Shukichi and his bitch walking. He's risen, but then this big ass cockroach pops up out of nowhere, and this stupid ass bitch is like, hey, hey. Don't worry, we don't have to fight. Let's let's talk just to talk to it. I don't think this nigga knows English, bro. So Shokichi is like, uh, what's up, gangsta? Would you rather have a gay son or a thought daughter? Oh my god, bro. Oh. I'd rather have your bitch, nigga. I can't believe we're only a minute in and we've already lost a baddie. So dude is obviously pissed off. He's gonna pop his heroin and go crazy. But his girl, neck still snapped, is like, no, you can still talk this out. Huh? The f you mean talk this out? You just twisted your neck like a pretzel, nigga. This was their first time encountering one of these roaches, by the way. Cockroach dips, and they report back to base, and they're like, "Bro, did you just say a six-foot cockroach snapped that bitch's neck with one hand?" I ain't set up for all this, bro. Take us home. The captain just looks at him and is like, "Lol, no." Then we meet this cold-ass Yasuo-looking motherfucker, and he's like, "Hey, my dog, I can't even lie to you, bro. You dodged the bullet. I smashed that hole last week. And I'll beat you up. Damn, chill, bro. We gonna get back." She had that good, good though, you know. Hey, nigga, is you crying? He's trying to get back, so he goes out and starts blasting these roaches with flames. This man was a literal menace. Before pest control, he was a Shyrax demon. Back at HQ, they chilling. Oh shit, it's morphin time! Pterodactyl! Oh shit! Good gracious. Is that that nigga's head? Everybody in this bitch starts panicking, and then the cockroach army starts walking to the ship chanting, KFC, KFC, KFC. Due to the green fade is like, they. They know what they are! So they hop into Mars Mobile, and this dude, he definitely knows how to eat that booty like groceries. They use his power to blast away. And look at them, they're chilling, bro. They're blackers. Psych! This dude's head is already gone. These roaches are skull snatchers. Anyways, I know I said this was the original squad, but they find the original, original squad ship where they find out the old crew was up to some super shady shit. All of a sudden, blam, blam. There is no way these roaches got blickies. They're surrounding these dudes and should have popped this random hero in Attic Silly. This other girl blocks some bullets, but then she immediately gets put on blacked. <laughs> Raw. And my nigga with the fake. I like it, Kaji. Huh? Come on! Anyway, so now we just left with these two niggas and a baddie. One of them is literally Bruce Lee, and the other one is just a dude with straight hands. After they exterminated all the roaches, they turn around and yo! What in the Illuminati is this? They find out that some actual cockroach space Jesus is the one in charge of making these buff ass niggas. But would you believe the show gets crazier? So they cut to this one ugly bastard getting Gucci juice splashed on him. He wakes up only to find it's a Natron 6000 just standing there. Oh, wait, never mind, it's just the baddie. Ugh, dirty ass. I like that. So these two actually betrayed everyone and are trying to boot gang an alien egg to help Jake Paul win the battle against KSI. They try to dip, but oh nah, my wife's about to get black too, bro. Uh, don't worry, I got this. I can put them in a genjutsu and make them do whatever I say. See, we're totally good. Hey, when we get back, you gotta pay me that 20 bucks you owe me for tickling your booty hole. I'm never doing that shit again. Huh? Got your ankle, bitch. God damn. These roaches are different. They literally turned her ass into a crawler with a fat ass these niggas inhale and then hit their obunga mating call which if i translated it it means hey i think these niggas got chicken they pop up immediately ready for that finger licking goodness ripping do hickeys and wires out until it crashes back down into the ground the three musketeers are outside peeping all of this and they hop in to save them i genuinely have zero idea why they would do this to themselves because these dickheads just tried to yoink the entire ship and run off on their ass anyways that man sokichi runs after the big one while the other two box the grunts the baddie swings and oh oh goodness Oh my lord! Homie didn't even get a moment to process Shorty's demise. That nigga jumps up and puts his ass in a quick time event. The nigga missed it, but the blood wakes up an Asian rod wave and he wants to live to eat another day. So he ODs on heroin to get those power ups. And this nigga's like, drugs? That's a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah. That nigga is doing six heroin needles at the same time. Ah. He's not seen tomorrow. Anyway, so elsewhere, Shokichi confronts the big one that tried to run off with his ex's dead body. That old freaky ass roach. This nigga's actually a simp. The bitch been dead. Why are you still fighting? 
fighting this 10 inch cock monster like this man dingo literally just ripped this dude's hands in half you already know that shit hurt but this right hook might have hurt more <gasps> Hey, bro, you good? Nah, the perks are whooping this nigga's ass. He turns around, and Rod Wave is getting the cheeseburgers choked out of him by a nigga with no head. <laughs> Bruce Lee tries to save him, but this roach is nice at multitasking, bro. He did somehow manage to slice off dude's arm, which allowed Asian Drewski to grab a blick and send this nigga to roach hell. The battle's finally over, but sadly, Bruce Lee done popped too much and tweaked so hard, the nigga literally turned into a grasshopper. This is beyond Yodi Land. After all that, Jesus Cockroach literally just chilling outside thinking, damn. Season two is about to be crazy. Yup, you heard Bug Jesus. All that you just watched was only a two episode OVA. I ain't gonna lie, it's looking like these motherfuckers is cooked, bro. They are completely surrounded by these BBC demons. And what makes it worse is I think the studio ran out of budget. What the fuck kind of animation is this? They did these niggas worse than Seven Deadly Sins. Okay, now nah, nothing's that bad. Akari from the first video is back and he's out here fighting for his life. But before we continue, let's get a flashback to find out why he even came to Mars to fight these big ass cockroaches in the first place. Hi, I woke up this morning and Iron Man came to my room. <sighs> This nigga's gonna die. When I grow up, I wanna be just like him. Aww. Well, good luck, little nigga. Here's your flower back. The kid with space cancer's in there, right? Don't say anything stupid. Bro, why would I say anything stupid? You know, Michael Jackson came and visited me the other day. He said I'm gonna live until 38. I ain't gonna lie to you, little bro. You're not living to see 12. Fucking idiot. Hey, on the bright side, though, Captain America or like Spider Man or some shit gonna be here soon. <laughs> anyway, so then this nigga comes flying out of nowhere, tackles him, and then his buddy grabs him, and they about to run a two man in his cheeks. They take turns sneaking him. Wait! KFC. Hellcat. Little baby. Hellcat. Little baby. Seth Rogen. Hellcat. 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 Popeye. Little baby. They literally about to ride off into the sunset with this nigga. But then they're like, oh, wait, nah, never mind. Let's make him belly flop from 10,000 meters in the sky into the dirt. Niggas on the ground like, why am I here? I am I really about to get gang banged? All right. The little nigga. His ass probably dead by now. And that other hoe. She had space cancer too, she dead as fuck. Nah, no, fuck that. I'm not finna grow like them. I will not be black wrong. <laughs> Wait, Loki getting his ass beat. I don't think that he knew he was about to go up against the armored cockroach. Nigga starts spamming combos on this dude's abs. Literally doing negative damage. But then he's like, <laughs> and he sends his head flying. Fast forward a bit and Mars has turned into a Call of Duty team deathmatch where the traitors got exposed for being Jake Paul apologists. This girl's trying to use her titties to distract them from kabooming her with a tank, but the second she popped them big old thangs, of course the entire army finna pull up for some of that milk. Hold it, hold it. Does that wanna be? Well, well actually, it's a dragonfly. <laughs> Anyways, that nigga starts yoinking the tank with his toes. This anime's version of Neji uses eight bug gram 64 stingers to stop him, but this nigga just grabs him instead, snaps his neck, and passes him off to the homies for future gangbang purposes. Then they airdrop these little piglet ninjas. You got Pigatello, Pigael, and they're getting ready to fight. They've been training these little dudes to master the arts of the gangbang for a millennia. In bug years, they follow proper procedure. They immediately grab Shorty and start running off. She's never seen again. <laughs> the bugs are about to fully take over the last spaceship, but then Team Jake Paul pops out with some lolly with poison titties, and the roaches start dropping from the sky like rain. Elsewhere, Aki and this baddie named Michelle got their dumbasses captured by what seems to be young Obama. Brother Umar would be disappointed. He's on Team Jake Paul. Our brother is lost. He's about to get away when suddenly, this ginormous hunk of a man, nigga look like he's straight out of Baki, starts squaring up. They start squabbling while hordes of these cockroaches keep trying to murk them. Obama I'm a Loki putting up a fight though. That's my president. Oh, as a last resort, he tries to kick Michelle out the whip so he can get a chance to escape. But if there's one thing you don't mess with, it's a Rizzler's prey. Nigga hit him with a Shoryuken and then comboed him out of the ship straight to his demise. Fuck humans though, we're not here for all that. We're here to talk about them cockroaches. Back on Earth, this couple's car breaks down and they about to ask for help. They look through the window and oh shit. Honey, let's go back. They look suspicious. Let's call the police. They're probably trying to steal something. They start heading back and ain't no way this is driving the whip. Oh, yup. Those niggas got that Jason Love treatment. That's right. These roaches done got to Earth and they're even running Valorant. Man, I can't wait for season three, bro. Those bug messiahs are up to no good. If y'all haven't seen part one, make sure you go watch it. Love y'all. Peace. Peace.